Glioblastoma is the most frequent brain tumor. It originates in a cell type called glioprogenitors, and the life expectancy given to patients is 14 to 15 months. These are heterogeneous tumors with different cell types, including glioma stem-like cells, which are likely to be responsible for their radio and chemo-resistant properties. Telomeres are protective structures at the ends of the chromosomes. They are essential to give stability to the chromosome, to ensure a correct cell division and, therefore, for the life of the cells. With each cell division, telomeres shorten a little, and after several divisions, its length reaches a critical point, and the cell can no longer divide. It's a biological clock that determines the lifespan of the cells and is also one of the main molecular causes in the aging process within the organism. Cancer cells, on the other hand, are immortal because more than 90% of the tumors generate a mechanism so that the telomeres don't lose length and so the cells can divide without limits, which is one of the main characteristics of cancer. There has been a lot of research in cancer therapies that attack this regenerative mechanism but so far, they haven't offered the expected results, maybe because of the variety in the telomere lengths among the different tumor cells. A team from the Spanish National Cancer Research Center, CNIO, has developed an alternative method that targets telomeres regardless of their length. The telomeres are protected by a protein shield called shelterin, which is essential for its proper functioning as a protective structure of the chromosome. Dr. Blasco's team has developed a therapy that blocks the TRF1 protein, which is key to the formation of that protective complex. They have tested this technique in mouse models with glioma and also in xenograft models from patient-derived glioma stem cells. In both cases, tumor growth was reduced and survival increased significantly. The team could also observe that the neuromuscular, olfactory and memory capacities of the mice were not affected indicating the existence of a novel therapeutic opportunity for glioblastoma based on the inhibition of the TRF1 shelter in protein.